Más ven cuatro ojos que dos. Four eyes see more than two. In some ways, it's obvious that each of us has a limited perspective. We can only see what we can see. However, we can sometimes forget that and think that what we perceive is the whole truth of a situation. This refrain reminds us that the more eyes that we get on a situation and the more we discuss together what we all are looking at, the more that becomes visible and the closer we can get to the truth of the matter. Don Yitzchak Abravanel, the great sage of 15th and 16th century Spain and Portugal, says that this idea is what is at the heart of the Jewish notion of machloket l'shem shemaim, an argument for the sake of heaven. He writes, Shika'asher yitchalfu hadeot ben chachamim machloket. That when there is a difference of opinion amongst the sages and they come to a dispute or disagreement, lo machlokotam lekanter v'lo lihitkaber zelze. That their intention shouldn't be to antagonize one another or to overpower one over the other. Ki'im l'shem shamayim. But rather, their intention should be for the sake of heaven. Rotzelomar lohotziha emet loor. Meaning, the intention should be to bring the truth into the light. Ulagalot matzpune hadevarim. And to reveal the hidden things in a matter. Asher yodo'o mitocha masava hamatan asher b'machlokotam. And that is done through the back and forth and through the discussion that we have in a disagreement. We can incorporate this ideal by developing a habit of asking people in our lives what they see in a situation. We might agree, we might disagree, but by going back and forth and having a discussion, we'll uncover more and bring more into light. Because in the end, mas ven cuatro ojos que dos, four eyes see more than two. Wishing everybody a wonderful Shabbat up ahead. Buenas entradas de Shabbat.